I'm already out of breath. Maybe I was a little confident in my planning to do a 14er as my first day hike in Colorado coming from, you know, about 800 feet in elevation in Alabama. Not gonna lie, I'm a, a little bit nervous. This is my first 14er not during a through hike. So I guess we're gonna see what my couch strength really is. Unfortunately, I had planned to come out here and do four pass loop, but the weather isn't looking favorable for that whole stretch. And you're going over a pass a day. Four pass loop would probably be prettier in September when the aspen leaves are starting to turn yellow and more enjoyable when you don't have to stress so much over the afternoon storms. It was kind of a hard decision. I mean, I've had enough scares with lightning and I'm not on a through hike right now. So trying to use my brain for more than just a hat rack. So I'm gonna do a couple of day hikes out here and then one overnighter and call it good. currently hailing on me. So I'm gonna go back to tree line and see if it gets any better. <sighs> and then maybe I'll keep pushing. Go on now. Can't have my food. Trying to figure out whether I wanted to go up or not, but after hearing this thunder. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you still got a long ways to go. Right. Yeah. yeah. encourage somebody to go up and get struck by lightning yeah no, I don't know I've been in enough storms on these mountains I, no I've had my hair stand up before so that's why I'm like yeah I'm not static electricity in the air and your, your climbing gear is buzzing it's yeah okay. Okay. you wouldn't go up from here I probably wouldn't if yeah. I was this far down because you're still two way. miles yeah you know once you get above you still got at least two two and a half miles yeah yeah you know? I'd be a little nervous for the storm. Yeah, for sure. Once, once you leave here, you're just exposed. What's right, exactly. I know. That's why I've been hanging out in the trees trying to see what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I know. It's also making noise now. Jessica Mills. Yeah, it is. <laughs> how are you, Dixie? I'm fine. How are you? Good. I'd be better if I'd made it to the top, but unfortunately. You got tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm gonna come back Wednesday. Here you go. And I'll start earlier. <laughs> To the car a little well a lot disappointed <laughs> uh 
It's my own fault though. I know the rule of thumb to get up by noon, really be ready to turn around and head back by noon when you're doing a 14er or really any really high elevation. And I left the parking lot at 8.30. So didn't really get myself a proper amount of time, especially with knowing how slow I would probably be. But I sat around tree line and waited to see what the weather was gonna do and black clouds have come rolling through and now rain's starting again. So I decided to call it. It just feels like this whole trip's kind of been a mess because my flight was delayed. So I got to Denver late and then I had to spend a while trying to figure out an alternate plan and then got to bed late last night because of that and got started late this morning and so it's just my parade's getting rained on a little bit but somehow I'm gonna make lemonade out of these lemons. I'm gonna come back Wednesday and I'm gonna wake up at the butt crack of dawn. I'm gonna be in the parking lot because Mount Elbert is not gonna whoop me yet. Now it's a personal thing. All right, round two. I decided this time I'm gonna be the earliest I can be. And it's about 11.30 p.m. and I'm attempting a sunrise summit. Boop. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? I'm sorry. Stuff is starting to open up. I'll be above tree line before too long. I am above tree line, but I'm not above cloud line. Ooh, clouds are rolled in and it's really misty up here. I've gone just about four miles or so. It's 2 a.m. but I can see the Milky Way and I took a picture with my phone it kind of showed up so I'll take a little break and get a shot of it with my good camera. I think I have maybe just a little bit over a mile to go but I'm at 13,300 and something feet. I can tell I'm getting kind of weak legged, doing more stumbling and stuff, but this uh, elevation's uh, slope, the climb. I can't even use my words right now, but anyway, it's getting pretty steep, but about 3 a.m. now, so I think it's safe to say that I should make it for sunrise. I'll see the sunrise either way, but hopefully I'll be at the summit. I see a bunch of headlamps coming up behind me. They're a ways down, but it's just kind of nice to know I'm not alone, because if you want to feel lonely, just climb a 14er by yourself for a sunrise summit. Quite a few folks. I guess I'm whew, getting pretty close to the top. I don't know why it makes me want to cry, but I'm gonna blame it on lack of oxygen. And my nose is trying to run away. Ugh. a little wind block. All right, where's the summit? I 
waking up putting the marker. <laughs> Really? Where is the... I finally made it. And I'm grateful to whoever left the sign for me to use. Because I can't find the bronze marker. I'll have to find it after the sun comes up. If you see it right away, I'm going to be mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. That's like a video too, we already got. <laughs> oh, there, it didn't hit me though. No, no, no. Me too, bro. <laughs> My hands are so cold right now. <laughs> Props to the badasses that do trail maintenance. <laughs> is that yummy? This is so cool. Hey. Do we seem trustworthy? gonna eat you. <laughs> I did. Uh, it it was. I um I failed uh, last week. I started at like eight and didn't get up here before the storms. It really was a bummer to have to turn around the other day and feel defeat. But I think I made obviously a wise decision and I'm proud of myself that I'm <laughs> learning from mistakes of the past and not putting myself in unnecessary danger. I uh, wanted to do Mount Elbert, the highest point in Colorado when I was on the CDT, but I knew I was already kind of pushing it with time <laughs> when I was only in Colorado. But then I was gonna summit Elbert as a end trip to filling in my PCT fire closure areas in 2019, but it didn't work out because we had to rush home. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to end this little Colorado trek, except with a grand finale sunset on Mount Elbert.